Welcome to part one of Mission Parameters Basics with Matt Pilot Pro. Whether it's dense foliage, a roof of a building, or a baseball field, or anything else you want to survey, you need to create a flight path that takes into account the content of your area to best capture the images. The first and most critical step is to select which camera is going to be used. So from the home screen, enter the settings, enter flight camera model, and select which camera you're going to use for your flight. By default, it selects Phantom 4 Pro, for this example, we're going to choose the Mavic 2 Pro. So exit the settings. And the easiest way to see our mission parameters is to do it in new mission. So enter a new mission. Accept this. We're going to make a very quick survey area. We're going to drop our home point. The very first parameter we're going to go over is altitude. The higher you fly, the more you can capture, but at the cost of the pixel count on the ground. You can see how changing the altitude affects the flight path. So essentially the higher you fly, the more distance between the parallel flight lines there will be. So let's increase the flight path and you can see the distance between parallel lines increased. Conversely, if we decrease the altitude, you can see the parallel lines, the distance between the lines decrease as well. The next parameter to highlight is the overlap. There are two options, a long track and, and a cross track overlap. A long track overlap controls the overlap in the direction of the flight line and a cross track overlap controls the overlap between parallel flight lines. The higher the overlap, the more coverage of your survey area you will get, but at the cost of map processing speed and data storage. So knowledge of what you're mapping is important before selecting which overlap you want. Plenty of overlap and nadir images are the key components to collecting great data and making great maps. So it's quite easy to adjust the across track overlap. You can see it in the percentages there. Next up is flight speed. MapPilot will automatically adjust the flight speed to the maximum speed available based on the altitude, overlap, SD card write speed, all in an effort to minimize any camera motion blur while also minimizing time spent flying. Manual control of the flight speed is available via this panel. These three parameters, altitude, overlap, and speed, are all interconnected when generating a flight path. For example, if we're going to adjust our altitude, to something higher, you'll notice that our speed will also increase to allow for the correct photogrammetry variables to take place. So we're going to increase it and you'll notice our speed increased to about 11 meters per second. MapPilot automatically adjusts the background variables, in this case the flight speed, to correctly provide the user with the primary variable that they set, in this case our altitude. Check out part two of this video to learn about the rest of the basic mission parameters like mission type, rotation, and offset. 